Hi, I'm Lynn Marie Rosenberg. Welcome to this incredibly honest tutorial about how to tell yourself you're going to fold your laundry meticulously, but then what actually happens instead. There are many different kinds of laundry you can fold. The first is socks. Socks are easy, assuming you ever find the second uh, one in the pair. This time I got lucky. These you can meticulously fold and and it's okay, you just do that. And sometimes it's satisfying because it feels like a popple. This is a tank top and it's currently inside out as you can see and it's gonna remain that way because I'm too lazy to turn it right side out right now. This is a non-fitted sheet. This will especially not be meticulously folded if you're five foot two or under, like I am, because your wingspan will not allow for full accurate folding. So instead what you'll do is just get it mostly there and then hope for the best. These are pants. These are pants without a crease down the front, which is good because then you can just fold them. If there's a crease down the front, you'll tell yourself that you're gonna iron the crease into the fold, but then you're not gonna do that. This is underwear. And it's great because you just roll it into a ball. This is a sock I just found on the floor. See, we almost lost one. Good thing we didn't. Oh. And lastly, this is the gold standard of pretending you're going to meticulously fold something, but then actually you're just not. That is a fitted sheet. Theoretically, there's something you're supposed to do that involves putting corners into corners. So what you'll do is you'll start to do that and you'll think you'll know what you're doing and so you'll put a corner in a corner and then you'll realize you have no idea what you're doing and so you'll just wrap it up like this. There you go. A folded sheet you told yourself you were going to meticulously fold and then you didn't. I hope that was really helpful. More underwear.